starting this video off in an interesting manner. There's a random tree in the road, so we're gonna. This had to have just fell. I wonder how heavy it is. Oh yeah, it's pretty heavy. Ugh. Ooh, Hercules. Cars coming. Oh, that you one, ain't moving that one. That one ain't moving nowhere. You never know what you guys see. Every single episode, I swear, it just gets weirder and weirder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just lift the motor, the trolling motor, and just pull her up on the bank, and you can just kind of ease her off and jump on. Maybe you can try to stop that with your foot. Maybe. Jeez. Break my damn <laughs> Come on. There you go. All right. Oh boy. You're getting all flossy up in there. All right. All right. Interesting. So we just got out on the lake today. You guys have been asking for the boat videos. I've been so excited to bring them to you guys. And we're out here today on a new body of water I've never been to before. As you guys know, I don't really have many lakes around me here in Savannah, Georgia. We have the rivers and the rivers recently have been so flooded. And what happens is the fish get so far up in those trees and it's nearly impossible to really get on a good bite when it's flooded like that. So today we're out on a new place. There's a ton of pads out here, super clear water. It's got a heavy drop off. I was scanning on my graph before we even started and I'm just super excited. I hope we're gonna get on a nasty frog bite in these pads. I'll also tied on like a little swim bait here. I'll show you guys. So I got my mock crush right here and this is gonna be what my frog is on. And then I got my Mach 2, and then I just have like a little swim bait on there on an EWG hook. This might be killer today. We got a lot of wind, and I was thinking something fast moving across those pads and all that vegetation, you know, might kill it. You know, I usually don't throw a frog much. I used to always stick to like swim baits and, and you know, like horny toad, soft plastic frogs to move across that stuff. And I think this might be killer. So that's gonna be something in our arsenal today. And if we have to back off and fish some of the drop-offs, we'll throw like a worm, a crawl, and I think we'll be good from there. I got Delton behind the camera. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. We're gonna go ahead and hop into it, try to catch some fish. I can't tell you how today's gonna be. This is a very pressured place. People fish this every single day. So I'm curious. Um, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna hopefully put a big bag together. So you guys better stay tuned, hit that like button, let's get it started. So, if you guys know me well, you already know what I'm gonna start off with. We're gonna start off with this freaking frog. I'm excited about that. These pads look so sauce, guys. So freaking sauce, they're super thick. Um, I was almost thinking about punching them. It's, thick it's, it's definitely thick enough, but the problem is, is that, you know, with the clouds today, um, I, I just don't know if they're gonna be stacking this stuff how they should be. So that, that was my main thing. I was like, I'm gonna go frogging and punching today, but with the sun not really being out, a bunch of cloud cover, you know, these fish are probably gonna be roaming a lot more. They're not gonna be tucked under that vegetation. And that, that's something to always think about. It's the conditions when you come out. So if it was a sunny day, I feel like these fish would be more positioned in the pads. But today, being a little more windy, um, overcast day, clouds out, um, they could possibly be roaming the edge of the pads a little bit more. Not saying the fish aren't going to be in the pads because we're going to catch some in these pads today. I can tell you that. That's primarily, you know, the only cover, vegetation, whatever you want to call it. Um, in this lake, yes, there's some drop offs. We're in 15 foot of water right here on the bank, which is awesome. Actually, I did not think it was going to be this deep in here. Um, so worst case scenario, fish that drop off or at least fish the edge of these pads. And me and Delmer were just talking about a swim jig might be fire too. So. We're gonna try to put a big bag together. I can tell you, with a place with a bunch of pads like this, I can only think that there's some giant fish in here. You know, I, I've never fished here. I've never even heard of any fish being caught out of here. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna try today. We're gonna see what we can put together. I know there's bass in here. It has to be. I actually met a supporter of the channel. I should have filmed it, and he said he caught a little bass yesterday. Not a big one, a little one. But like I said, that tells us there's fish in here. Let's get it started. Delton's got his drag set for his frog this time. You got your drag set? I got my drag set this time. <laughs> yeah, you better have your drag set. Look at this, guys. I got a jerk bait today. Clear water. Dang. Oh, dang right, a jerk bait. Dude, you're one of them guys, Delton. There ain't there ain't no rules to fishing. 
There ain't no rules to fishing. There's fish suspended in seven foot of water below my boat on this edge. They'll eat this jerk bait in this clear water too with this wind and cloud cover. This jerk bait might get really, might really get munched today. Is that supposed to be a boat ramp? Cause that is a- Yeah, that's supposed to be a boat ramp. <sighs> that's supposed to be a boat ramp. That's funny. That's, that's a joke. It's not even connected to the water. I don't even know what you would put in on that boat ramp. Like they have it blocked Dumb off. Boat, maybe. <laughs> Screams. Noah, throw a punch in there. Why didn't you throw a punch rig? I'm literally You're doing it. You're an idiot, Noah. It's literally calling my name. By the way, guys, I'm uh, I got these new six inch ox flipping hooks. I've never, I never tried them before. We gonna try them today. So on this punching rig, I'm pairing it up with a prawn. This is in green pumpkin blue with this clear water. I think that's gonna work well. Um, just gonna rig it right up on this. Gosh, I'm excited. Of course, the stuff gets more th thin right when I tie this punching rig on. Look at that. It's like all thick stuff, and then we get to this like little twinky stuff over here. Twinky stuff. Twinky stuff. I don't think YouTube's really. I've, I've punched a lot, man. Like in the past with tournaments and high school events, college events. I don't know if I've ever like filmed me punching. Or yeah, I have on the river. I have. What am I saying? I'm just thinking if some of these fish are bedding up under this stuff too, you can't even get to them. You drop this thing on its head. I'd expect him to eat it. gonna switch up right here guys I, I punch a good bit of that I just don't know if that I was flipping in that thick the thick pads I just don't know if that braids a little too much for this clear water we're gonna switch over to this bubblegum fluke which I think I get much we're gonna work the edge of these pads there's a bunch of little grass under those pads too that's coming out so we'll see I think this would be good I think I'll eat that fluke if they're in there See, with it being cloudy today, they're probably pushed off of this stuff a lot more. There he is. He's running at me. I can't tell if he's big. Nope. He ate that fluke though. Tiny guy. Look how dark he is from being in them wow. pads. Tiny guy. Gosh. He's running at me so hard. Right there. Right there. Made the quick adjustment. Put on that fluke. Like I said, I didn't know if that braid was too much. We got the first fish today. It's not a big one by any means. But look at the colors on that bass from it being in that in those pads and in that vegetation. It gets so dark from that. That's a pretty little fish. We're gonna keep going. That's a that's a little start right there. That's all we needed. Now we know there's bass in here and uh we're gonna keep going. We're gonna see if we can find some big ones. Get this baby back in the water. There she goes. All right. It's a start, Delton. Yeah, it's so flat right here, man. You're in. We're in three foot of water, two foot of water. Right here? Mm-hmm. We might need to come fish this drop off. Now it drops off. Golly, man. There gotta be some fish sitting on that. It literally went from two foot. Now we're at 14. Look at that drop off right there. That is crazy. Two foot to 14 foot in two seconds. We'll come back and look at that later. Huh. It looks like almost a bed right there where my fluke's at. Right there. 
Like yeah. off the bank. Doesn't that look like a bed? Pitch on that. Pitch on that. There he is. Dude, that's a good one too. Holy cow. <laughs> I didn't even see that. He might have came off that bed. Holy cow. It's a two pounder. We're gonna flip him right in. There we go. That is a dark fish, dude. <laughs> dude, that fluke right there. He munched that thing. I was not paying attention. I was like telling Delton to flip on what looks like a bed right there. These fish just came out of nowhere and I watched him tank that fluke. Beautiful two number. I uh, I think we're gonna put him in the box. You wanna put him in the, the box? Let me take a picture later. Yeah. It's beautiful though. Uh, now we're getting somewhere. That fluke's getting munched. He just tied on a Texas rig with like a stroker crawl. Um, if they're not eating that, maybe a prawn. I think that's gonna work on the edge of this stuff. That might be a bed and that fish might have just came off. Pretty guy. Respectable. I'm getting somewhere. We're, just figuring, we're figuring something out. That's all that matters. He ate it way off the bank too, so staying off this is good. But I think if we tag team this with that crawl in this fluke, I think we're gonna catch him, dude. I think we're gonna really put a hurting on him. I saw him come and eat it. I like wasn't paying attention. It was just out of the blue. It's like I got the fluke about five foot from the boat, and he just munched it. Yeah, it's gonna be hard with that. You just gotta make sure you're on the bottom because it drops off so quick. There he is, another one. Dude, they're eating that freaking fluke now. Dude, I can't tell. I don't think he's big. Little tiny guy, little tiny guy. But he's eating the fluke right on the edge of that grass. Another pretty, pretty bass, dark colors. That's awesome, same way. You know, right there on the edge of the grass. That's beautiful. He's not big enough to throw him in. I was talking to Delton. We're going to throw a few in today and take a picture at the end. I think we should we probably put him back. We're figuring him out now. It's happening way quicker. We're staying way off these pads. As you guys can tell, we're freaking 25 foot off these pads now. Um, more than that, probably about 30 foot off these pads. And we're really playing it, um, working the fluke out. He was actually on the edge, but I think Delton dragging that crawl on the drop off is going to get it done. Get her back in the water. Thank you, baby. All right. Let's get to work. The one thing I noticed about this lake that well, I really like. What? There's no geese to fly at me here. Yeah, no, there's no <laughs> geese out here. Surprisingly, where the heck are the geese? Uh, there's ducks. You got some chickens over there. Chickens, those are ducks. They're chickens, bro. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Chickens, man. So let's talk about how I'm working this thing. So I'm beaming it all the way up there in this pads. Right up on the edge. If I land on the pads, I reel it off a little bit. There's a big fish on my graph, bro. Look at that big bass right there but I throw it right there on the edge of the pads and I just start working it out and I give it like three four hard pops twitches and I give it a pause now oh you have me right there you ain't paying attention that's what happens you give it some pops and a little pause and that last one he ate it on the pause that one before I was twitching I kind of watched him roll on it but these fish did you hear that yeah, it had to be a chicken. But that, you know, throwing it on the edge of these pads and pretty much letting it come off, you know, giving it some twitches, pausing it. And that pause is so important right now, especially in this water. It drops off so quick because you're throwing up there, it's like five foot. Then you get off right at the edge of the pads, it drops to 15. So, you know, Delton working that crawl, I kept telling him, I was like, dude, you're, you're going to get eaten. I mean, it's, it's just going to be a matter of time. And I think it might be a better one that eats that crawl. Bang. Dude, I'm beaming that fluke up in there, dude. I just got in that perfect little cubby hole. I'm, I can watch the fluke. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. Golly, about pulled the rod out of my hand. He's toting too. That's the best fish today. God, look at them. Dude, these fish fight hard. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
thought he was a lot bigger, man. I thought he was two and a half. Ain't even that. Beautiful fish, though. That's not a bad one. Dude, he about took the rod out of my hand, man. He's in right in that cubby hole. He's about 15 foot out from that cubby hole, and I just jerked down, dude. He pulled back. That is awesome right there, man. We're finally catching them, man. I like it. That's what, number four? Yeah, number four. Pretty fish. So, guys, I actually got a goodie box in the mail from Six Cents the other day. I've been wanting to open it, and I wanted to do it on film. What in the world was that? That was a fish, dude, isn't it? Hold on, was hold on. It? Go sick of boy. Dude, that was with hit top water right there. Watch this. Come on, baby. Like a five pounder just came up and ate that frog. I'm gonna try one more cast. We're gonna go up under that bridge. Look, he look. Ran to it. He just ran to yep, it. he's about to eat it. Watch. Oh my God, he's below me. Watch this. He's, he's literally below my frog. Why didn't he not eat it? Oh, oh my God, this is giant. Dude, he was in this grass. Oh my God. Oh, the camera just shut off. The camera shut off? The camera shut off. Charge the battery. Oh, <gasps> look. Dude, that's a big fish, dude. The battery's dead. The battery's dead? The no. The battery's dead. No. Hold on. Hold on. Dude, that is a giant freaking fish, dude. I don't know if it's a bass, it's so big. It has to be a bass though, right? Oh, 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 oh my. Dude, dude, that is a freaking giant. And he just destroyed my frog right there. Watch this, he, he's on this bank. That was insane, guys. Sauce, bro. Ay, ay, ay. All right. That was some work. Let's see what we got. Oh my God. Come here. What we got? Come here. These are something new that I haven't even got to try. These are the little finesse jigs that they just came out with. The packaging looks freaking hot too. I love that gold. It's a little black and blue. You got the silicone skirt too. Oh, that is awesome. These are hand tied little ball head jigs, finesse jigs, 5 16th ounce. We also got some hybrid jigs in here as well. You gotta have the hybrids. You guys know I've been killing them on that, but the ball head jigs something new look at that one green pumpkin with a little bit of blue on it let's see what else black and blue black and blue green pumpkin blue green pumpkin blue green pumpkin blue hybrid jig what is this oh these are some little bags i can put them in that's dope that's dope heck yeah well, i'm thinking i'm thinking i put one of these on man what do you think i'm thinking a jig i think uh I'm gonna try one of these finesse jigs. I've been wanting to try one for a while. Um, when it comes to the black and blue, eh, I might try it though. How about that green pumpkin blue? I might try it. That green pumpkin blue? That green pumpkin is blue, I think. So it's color. Probably be better in this clear water. That like one, that? That one, definitely that one. Pair, yeah, that we'll, with a, pair that up with a little stroker frog. I'll try that. Yeah, let's look at this real quick. I kind of want to look in depth. And by the way, if you guys want to get 10% off, you guys know I got my code. I know I say it a lot, but for the new people watching, Look at that that's a fire looking jig bro i like that a lot little ball head it screws on the little trailer i think we put a little stroker curl on that definitely I'd be flaming well, let's go ahead and tie them on and uh give them a shot man i wish we would have caught that fish on the frog that would have been crazy just turn around five pounder and that was a big fish i promise you but let's tie this thing on catch a big one i gotta cut off my fluke sadly delton but sometimes in life you gotta trade things up. Here's your, here's your dead battery. All right. Do you mind if I have that uh, pair of pliers behind you? I think this little ball head jig's perfect for this too. Oh, look at this. This is the Nirvana one. This is what we were oh, talking dude, about. That'd be perfect. Yeah, it's literally perfect. Cause look, let me show you guys. This is gonna be dope. It's actually perfect for this one. So you got green pumpkin on one side, just like the the jig, and then on the other side you have black and blue. And look at that. That literally matches up mm. perfect. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I got the screw lock too so that thing will stay on there. That's it, bro. That is it. Look at that. Green pumpkin on that side. Black and blue on that side. Bro, can I eat that? <laughs> it looks pretty good, don't you? Just take a little bite. <laughs> <laughs> sexy, dude. That thing looks good. Sexy, dude. I've been excited because I've been wanting to throw these. Look at that. I love it. I want to give you my honest review right here. 
gonna be good. We throw in the hybrid jig. We know the hybrid jig some juice, but I have yet to throw. I already got hit. Did you really? I just got I got hammered right there. I ain't even playing. My bait was my bait was uh sinking. I felt thumb in my rod. Or am I just freaking out? I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get her. You, really? Yep. Big oh, it? Oh, she came off. You know where this was? Right where I caught that fluke fish. Ooh. Dude, that was like, seemed like a big fish. Your drag wasn't set, was no, it? No, it was set. Oh, no, it's set. That seemed like a big fish. You know, you know that's funny because there's beds on this bank. There's beds on this bank. You see them? Yeah, dude, I never have confidence in this bank. Like, I've really... <sighs> I can't believe that fish came off. That, that seemed like a big fish. fish. That was a good one. Your, your rod never freaking moved, bro. No, I just felt pressure. And then I just felt my line going, yeah, going you're, down. You're really going to have to jack them. get him yes no. oh <laughs> you got him though they're uh, all, good thing we can't that's not a bad one good job bro finally got the monkey off my back we've been out here for probably what three hours three hours or so haven't had a single fish finally got one we got a jig we're pitching jigs back up around these lily pads doing one of these uh green pumpkin blue jigs got him in there i just started kind of hopping it off the bottom i let it go to the bottom give it a quick little hop hop and they just let it flutter down and then that's when he freaking slammed that thing jacked him out of there look how dark this fish is though and that was the same spot where you missed that fish same spot where i missed that one before but this is definitely the male there's a female out there though but we think they're on bed out here we're not quite sure what we noticed guys is right here when we got to about right here it's 15 foot drop it comes up to the eight foot right here and it's a little more flatter right here. And we think there's a bunch of fish on beds. We saw another bed. I caught a fluke fish here and then he lost that jig fish. And then we came back and he caught this jig fish. So I think there's more to be caught, but that, that's well, some progress. Back. This is my second jig fish of all time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys. So I tied the green pumpkin blue one on. And I think I've had two bites on it, but I'm gonna actually tie this black and blue one on. See what, see what we working with. See if it, uh, it changes my luck. Bite's been pretty slow right now. Put one of these Nirvana stroker curls back on there. Well, that looks a lot better to me right there. I like how that one looks. We'll give it a shot. We'll see if they want this one better. This is like five casts of this black and blue. Literally five casts of this black and blue. He ain't big. About a pound and a half, I think. Oh, he ain't bad. Bad fish at all. It's so dark. Look at that right there. On that new ball head jig by Six Cents. You gotta love that right there. That is a brand new one. That's my first bass on the jig. Delton got one. It's a beautiful one. It's about a pound, pound and a half. Get her back in the water pretty fish the colors on these bass are just they're so dark you know that that's what happens when they're living up in that vegetation and then pads and all that grass you know, that's what happens there it goes all right well, that's a little start we're getting somewhere i just changed up like i said that was probably my fifth cast of that jig you know i was using that green pumpkin blue it just wasn't really getting the job done switch right over and he ate it he ate it that time Get any bites? Did you? Yeah. Yeah, that's my first like legit bite. I, I switched up. I had like a green. Oh. Is that a big one? 
Really? Oh my gosh. That was a good one too. What the heck? Oh no. Right there. Where? Right there. That was a frog. That's a frog fish. I can't see where it was. Right to the left of that. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. That, yep, that's it. Ooh, got him. Yeah. That was awesome. On the frog on the frog he's not big <laughs> that was so freaking cool that's what you call teamwork right there delton spotted that i didn't see it that's a good fish too not bad for what we've been catching just slam that freaking frog first frog fish first topwater fish we've seen pads all day and you'd think you know we'd be just chucking frogs but we have not had any luck on it until now just caught a beautiful fish in that all oh, that was awesome can did you hear it? I heard it. That was awesome. I thought the fish would have been a lot bigger. But that's still a beautiful one. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that is so <laughs> much fun. That's what we needed today. Caught fish on some flukes. Caught fish on some jigs. Now we got a top water going on. Beautiful bass. Get him back in. Ooh. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> that is awesome. So much fun on a frog. You cannot beat a frog bite, especially when you see pads like this. It was blowing our mind that we haven't caught one on a frog yet. And that was a perfect opportunity. He sucked that thing right down. Let's go. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. I appreciate that, man. You want to say hey to the camera? We've been filming a video. You want to be in it? Hey, how are you? <laughs> 